Hey guys, quick video here. Sorry for the quality. My camera's low on battery, so it it acts all funky. But I'm going to show you how to stop this noise. And you put the key in. It starts doing that, and you have the door open thing. Uh, for me, it's just annoying. Sometimes I like to hang out with the door open and not hear that. And on this side, the door can be closed, and it would still do it. So it just kind of got annoying because the sensor must have been broken or something. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. This is a 1995 Corolla. I'm going to take this out so you can hear me. So you're going to want to go right over here. And if you look where the door closes in, you'll see this little thing here. It's a button. So if I put this key in, you'll hear it stops when the door closes. The door's open, it does it. So basically they made it nice so if you if you pull this back you can see it right there and for me to take that out I got a really small screwdriver let me make sure you can see this small screwdriver put it in there and press it up and now let me let me put the key in so you can hear the results <laughs> all right see that now the sensor Take that thing out, boom, it's done. And you're just gonna wanna make sure it's the right one. For me, I know it because I can't see it, but you see how this kind of disappears into the void back there? It's actually going into a hole right where the, the sensor is. You can kind of see, it's almost obvious. But once you do that, go ahead and pop this back. For me, this was real easy. Just stretch it. I just pulled it back. I didn't have to undo any clips. This one might be a little tough to put back, but you can figure that out. Anyways, the main point is just that you can unplug that and your door light will go off even though your keys are in. You won't know if your door's... You should be able to tell if your door's open or closed, so you really don't need it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more stuff.